Hey, what's up guys? Today I am out, I'm salting. And so I thought, what better time, because we're just getting an ice storm, we're gonna get maybe an inch of ice, uh, up to two inches of ice, or it could be a quarter inch, they don't really know. So uh, today I am going to do a video comparing two Echo spreaders. One is a seed spreader, the other is the RW100, or the RB100W rather, uh, salt spreader. Because uh, I used the residential RB60 last year to do all my salting, and it did pretty good. So I thought I'd do a comparison between the two and see, see what you guys think, because I know that there's guys out there just like me who use residential spreaders to do their salt. So let's take a look at these two. So you've already seen the RB100W. I've shown you that already. This is the RB60. You've seen that on the channel as well if you've gone back and look at that. Now the comparison between the two should be apples and oranges. This one should be way better than this one. This one here, the RB60, only has the one side blocker there. Uh, so it only blocks the salt in one direction. This one has four blockers essentially. There's one in the back that's permanent. Um, so there should be no contest between these two, but I want to try it out and make sure. Now, as you can see, this one is uh, stainless steel. This one is not. So you can see it's rusting. It's got some issues there. It's, it's rusting pretty good. So um, we're just going to compare the two, see how well they throw the salt. There's no ice on the ground right now. I'm pre-salting uh, for the storm today. So we should see how far they broadcast the salt. Let me show you one other thing. This is the opening here. And this one has two openings with the little agitator. So we'll see how well they do. Okay guys, so I put 50 pounds of salt in each spreader. This one is supposed to hold 60 pounds, so that looks about right. This one can hold 100 pounds. However, when you put 100 pounds of salt in here, it's really hard to push. Um, it's almost back breaking because the agitator in there is so long and it's got them little spike things underneath it, it pushes really hard. So you can imagine when there's ice on the ground, this thing does not want to spread. Uh, because the agitator is super big and it's got them little spiky grinder things in there it doesn't want to spread the wheels lock up and it, it becomes a major problem so we don't have that today to show you but as you can hear uh, the ice is falling right now so uh, I got to get going here so I don't uh, mess up the camera but uh, the things I do for you guys. Um, so we're going to start with the RB60 and then we're going to move up to what should be the much better spreader. Let's hit it. All right, guys, so sorry if there's stuff on the camera lens. Uh, it just is what it is right now. It's kind of, it's off and on uh, raining ice, so can't help that. So that was the first round with the RB60. We probably put out, oh, 30 pounds of salt maybe. Um, let's look at the spread pattern. So as you can see, you can see the salt on the black here. It spreads it pretty far. Now there's nothing to impede it right now, so it's not a good judge for what it can do in snow. But as you can see, as you look down here, you can kind of tell it's thicker right in the middle than it is out on the sides. So it shoots it more out front than it does to the sides. So now I'm gonna switch to the RB100W. And we're going to go right down this center here 
and we're going to see what it does there. Um, we're really going to pre-salt this lot as if it was covered in ice already because we're going to get a lot of ice today. So let's hit it. All right, guys, I can tell you right off the bat, the RB60 pushes way easier than the RB100W. There's almost no resistance with the RB60 with the, about the same spread pattern as there is with the RB100W. This thing is a beast to push. Now, I still have about five to 10 pounds of salt in there. But I'm telling you what, it's hard to push all because of the auger mechanism here. With these teeth and this long thing here, it does nothing to break up the salt, first of all. This is just an agitator to keep the salt moving and falling down. This should not even need to be there. Um, because it doesn't break up the salt. Um, this thing clogs more often than not underneath on the bottom. I have to reach under and unplug it with my fingers. If they would shorten this and make it like the agitator in the RB60, this thing would be a dream to operate. But because they have this large agitator with these teeth, it is extremely hard to push when this thing is full of salt. I mean, you can hear it just grinding in there, just resisting your every push. And not only that, once it gets down, once the salt gets down to underneath the large agitator here, you have to constantly shake the RB100W to get the salt to fall through. Once it gets down past this, this no longer does anything. And there is a quite a big bowl underneath this. At least an inch and a half, an inch to an inch and a half of space underneath this bar. So to get the last five pounds of salt out, you constantly have to shake this RB100W. Another thing, you probably saw me holding the handle back here. That's because it wants to move forward. It does not want to stay back. I've tightened it up. I've tried everything I can think of to get it to stay back here. It won't do it. So I have to hold it. So I'm pushing with my belly, not my arms, because this handle wants to move back. With the RB60, it has the hand pull system. And it works much better. The salt just falls through. It has that small agitator. Now, if this had a metal agitator and this was all stainless steel, this would be the perfect salt spreader as long as it had um, blockers on all three sides or all four sides. But it doesn't. It only has it on the one side. And that's understandable. This thing is $99. It's cheap, okay? So I understand I'm not, I'm not knocking it for what it is. But if Echo were to make this spreader exactly in this configuration into a salt spreader with a larger opening, the same agitator, the, the hand pull instead of the, the stick, and the, the three blockers or four blockers on it, this would be your ultimate salt spreader. This thing works great. Now, yes, it is rusty as all get out right now. And I'm sure this cable is rusted inside that sleeve there, and it'll probably break before too long. But I can tell you what, I bust my butt to use this RB100W, 
and it is a pain. I mean, it's nice. It's nice to have the blockers on there for the sidewalks. And it's nice to have the stainless steel. And I will continue to use this. But I'm telling you what. The RB60 compared to this one. Spreading salt. In my opinion, there's not a whole lot of difference. Now let's look at the spread pattern. Alright, so the spread pattern, if you can see it, I'm going to stand still here a minute. I'm right in line with where I went down. If you can see that is thicker in the center, thinner on the sides. Okay, now I have this, the RB100W set at 25 pounds per whatever. I don't know the lingo for that. Uh, it doesn't have the settings on it. I, I don't really care. As long as it puts out the salt I need to put out. So I will admit right now it put out a lot of salt, which is great. And if you look over here, you can see the RB60 didn't put out as much salt. But I don't have the RB60 running full open. I have it set at 10. The highest is 12. So I'm, we're going to jump back on the RB60. We're going to set it to the highest setting. And we're going to see how it compares to the setting that I have on the RB100W. Let's hit that now. We're going to go to this parking lot over here next. Okay, so the ice is falling again, but as you can see, I did salt a little over here with the RB60. We're going to go straight down, turn around, and come back, okay? So that'll kind of be our spread pattern. Also, I was mistaken on the settings. I had it set at 12, and it goes up to 15. So I just moved it all the way open to 15, and we're going to see how it goes from there. So it did definitely lay down more salt than it did on the other side there. Um, as you can see, this is the second pass. I don't know if you can see that. It is hard to see. And then over here was the first pass with it set on 12. You can definitely see there's a difference in the amount of salt. So I will say I think the RBW spreads out the salt better, lays down the salt better. Um, and that is a plus. Uh, that means I don't have to go over the lot as often or, you know, to get as, the same amount of salt out. That's nice. The downsides, though, of the RB100 are that it is very hard to push. I mean, it is exhausting to push the spreader. So, uh, with that, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Again, this is not supposed to be an apples to apples comparison. This is just a comparison that I wanted to do to see how a residential spreader, seed spreader, would compare to a commercial salt spreader. And uh, I think the evidence is pretty clear. They'll both get the job done. This one may take a little longer. This is the RB60. So that's really it, guys. It's really starting to ice up now. So. As you can hear it falling, I'm sure. Um, so I'm going to get this thing salted and finished up. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, comment with any questions. Your opinion on these two. Uh, whether you think it's a dumb comparison or not. All that stuff. Sorry about the lens. It's a little uh, icy right now. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.